On everybody, it's Jets Central coming back with some unfortunate breaking New York Jets news that just came out. Um, you know, I was working on my car. I go, I look at my phone, and I actually had a whole bunch of uh, Twitter notifications. You know, from all you guys actually tagging me in the news, which I always appreciate. Whenever there's breaking Jets news, I always love how you guys have my back, and uh, you know, you're you're always making sure that I'm up to date on everything. But, uh, but no, so it's looking like Sam Darnold, the quarterback of the Jets, um, is going to be missing this Monday night game against the Cleveland Browns, right, week two. There's also a chance that he could be missing week three and week four. Okay, as if the Quincy and Newman news was, you know, didn't damper our moods already. Now we have this to deal with. Um I don't. I don't mean to be that guy here, but and I granted we're only one week into the season, but the, it, it to me, it really just seems like the wheels are starting to fall off here. I mean, whether you're talking about blowing the lead at home against the division rival Bills, Quincy Nunwa retires, AB signs with the Patriots. Now Sam Darnold's going to be missing time. Um, <sighs> Tremaine Johnson, you know, there's still, there's a lot of question marks still with this team, and it doesn't really seem to be getting any better. Uh, right before I, you know, uh, popped on this vid, I noticed that uh, Le'Veon Bell's going in for an MRI on his on his uh, shoulder, so hopefully that comes back negative and, and he's good to go, but um, yeah, so, so it's going to be Trevor Simeon, okay, as for, you know, as, as far as the foreseeable future goes, it's going to be Simeon, he's going to be, um, you know, uh, in control of the reins on Monday night against the Cleveland Browns at home at MetLife Stadium. Now, Darnold will be missing the game, get possibly games, due to mono, it's funny, back in uh, my first semester of college, I actually had mono, and it is absolutely horrible, um, it sucks, it's it's so bad like you you're just so tired all the time so i don't want to you know see anybody calling darnold like a baby or like you know uh what's it, uh, another word uh, like a week like week or anything like that uh because mono sucks mono's it's terrible you know you'll get like a full eight hours sleep you'll get up go get a drink you'll get up and go to the bathroom or something like that by the time you reach your bed you're in a full sweat and you just feel like you just ran, you just completed a triathlon, like you were just dead tired and you need to go back to bed for another eight hours. Like that's how tired you get. There's no way he could play football with mono. So I don't blame him at all. Uh, it, it's, it's a horrible, uh, I don't want to call it a disease, but virus, maybe sickness. I don't even know what the word would be. Uh, but anyway, yes. Yeah, so Sam has mono possibly could be missing games here. Trevor Simeon's going to have to step up. Um, I definitely think that Simeon, I mean, the, the good thing about Trevor is that he's won games and he's lost games in his, in, you know, in the regular season with the Denver Broncos, which is good. You know, we, you, you never really want one of those situations where it's a rookie making his first start. I mean, even, even though Gardner Minshew with the Jacksonville Jaguars did look really, really good, kind of reminded me, he's always reminded me of a poor man's Baker Mayfield, uh, just his ability to move around. He's shorter. He doesn't have like that strong of an arm, uh, you know, as a Baker Mayfield, but he can still kind of get the job done. So Jacksonville, I mean, that was kind of like a once in a blue moon thing. I mean, hopefully Gardner continues to ball out for Jacksonville. But as far as the Jets goes, I'm happy that we have a, I don't want to call Simeon a, like a seasoned veteran because he's not a Fitzpatrick. He's not a Josh McCown. He's not like a, uh, you know, Josh Johnson by any means, uh, but he's won some games. He's lost some games. He's played in the regular season. Um, and he's played, you know, he's had a lot of responsibility on his shoulders, uh, you know, taking over for Peyton Manning slash Brock Osweiler, you know, the year following the Super Bowl. So he's had to deal with some adversity. He's had to deal with some, uh, you know, a lot of pressure on his shoulders, like I said. So it'll be interesting to see how the Jets offense uh, looks come Monday night against a very talented Browns team. And like I said before, it is week two here. But it almost feels like this is a must-win game for the Browns, and it's a must-win game for the Jets because whichever team loses, hopefully there's no tie here, knock on wood, uh, like Detroit, Arizona. Um, whichever team loses, I feel like the tabloids, the uh, fan base, the major sports media outlets are just going to go absolutely ballistic on whatever team loses, right? The, this team started off 0-2 after, you know, they signed Le'Veon Bell and, and C.J. Mosley, this and that. And then if the Browns lose, it's how can this team start 0-2? Freddie Kitchens is, isn't the answer. Odell Beckham is overrated. Baker Mayfield's overrated, right? So there's a lot riding on this game. It's primetime football, so all eyes are going to be on it. 
And uh, yeah, we'll see how we do. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. By the way, the preview video for that game is going to be uploaded later on today. And uh, yeah, so thanks so much. And as always, go Jets.